Oh, do we have some goodies to get to today. I am so excited. We've got some books, we've got some comics, we've got some records, we've got some record accessories, and also some DVDs. It's all happening here. I'm combining all my loves into one video. Firstly, I wanna say thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. If you can't tell, I'm very weirded out by the idea of it. I feel the love and I appreciate it very much. So, let's get into what I have acquired. I will do timestamps, so if you go to the little red bar at the bottom, you can skip to whatever you really care about. If you care about everything, here we go. I'm gonna start off with some comics. So I have gone ham on a specific comic series. It's the Sandman series by Neil Gaiman, one of my favorite authors of all time. The Sandman series is specifically set in the DC universe, so you see a lot of characters that if you're a DC fan, you would recognize. It also has Lucifer as a character in the these comics, so if you're a heavy metal fan, then check the series. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. His writing is absolutely beautiful. His storytelling is crazy. Like, I don't know how he comes up with things, how he does it. It's very magical. It's very out of this world sort of style. Here we have volumes three through to seven because I am currently in a lockdown here in Australia for the next like five or four weeks from now. So I needed to make sure that I was stocked up on some things to read and that's exactly what I did. I'm enjoying this series a lot. There's 12 volumes and I'm sure that when I finish all of them I'll do like a proper review of the whole entire comic series because this is my first comic series that I've read ever. We're off to a good start here, that's for sure. We'll continue with the books Girl, Woman and Other by Bernadine Evaristo. It's about 12 different women in the UK I'm pretty sure and how their storylines intertwine and stuff like that. This book has so much hype around it. So many people love this book so I've picked it up. I want to read it soon. I have read 40 pages. I then put it down because I wanted to actually properly focus upon this book and I didn't feel like I could do that while I was also reading a Brando Sando book. So we'll come back to this in a little bit. I also just today picked up Blindness by Jose Saramago. Blindness is about a plague that sweeps the world or something like that. Everyone suddenly has white blindness so all they can see is white and it's about how a lot of people get locked up in a mental institution and they just have to like fend for themselves when they can't see. I am reading this book with another booktuber called Cozy Bex. We've decided we're gonna do a little buddy read together so that's gonna be super cute. We both have a very similar sort of taste when it comes to classics and stuff that's centered around psychology, how humans treat other humans, sort of that like wacky disturbing classic feel. So I feel like because me and Bex both like Kafka and that sort of metamorphosis style of storytelling we're probably gonna really like the plot devices in this book as well so we'll see, we'll see how we go. Last book is a graphic novel. It is Bloom by Kevin Panetta and Savannah Ganucho. This book is about two teenagers that fall in love and I'm here for it. It's also got really beautiful color scheme going on in this book. Sort of similar to Heartstopper. It's about this dude that works for his family bakery and then he doesn't want to work there anymore and he's like sort of hates his life and then this other dude starts working there that he's training so that he can take over his job and then he sort of like starts to really like that dude and want to spend more time with that dude. It's a lot of dudes, you know, dude on dude romance. We're going from world pandemic of everyone going blind to guys bonding over bread. If that doesn't summarize my book taste, then what does? Okay, next, let's look quickly at the DVD. The only DVD that I have received lately was through my dad. I have done a Studio Ghibli video before about my favorite Miyazaki films of all time. I will link it in the top corner. I'm really proud of that video. And essentially, my dad, he's the one that sort of introduced me to Miyazaki and he has a huge collection of Miyazaki movies and also just Ghibli movies in general which is the production company for Miyazaki and I was looking through his collection a couple months ago and I noticed that he had two copies of one movie and I was like excuse me but can I take one of those copies and he was like yeah so then I took a copy so I've got Mary and the Witch's Flower by Yoni Biashi. I really like this movie a lot this is like one of the movies from Ghibli that is not a Miyazaki film that I am in love with this movie is so fun and so cute it's got a lot of rewatchability it's got a lot of Miyazaki elements to it as well of course because it's Ghibli it's so one of the more recent films from Ghibli and I've watched it a few times since it come out I really recommend it 
if someone is done with all the Miyazaki and wants to see what else is out there from Ghibli, I'd recommend Mary and the Witch's Flower. That's what I would do. I really feel like I want to start a Ghibli movie DVD collection like my dad. And I already have Whisper of the Heart, which I got as a birthday present from one of my friends in year eight. So I was like 13. And then a decade later, I finally get Mary and the Witch's Flower from my dad. So we're slowly getting there. Look at those spines, dude. I mean, look at that, and then look at my dad's collection. Do you think I'm doing okay? I'll get there eventually, and this is a good start. I'm really happy with this. Follow my Ghibli journey, guys. And lastly, let's dive into the records portion of this video. I firstly want to touch upon some of the accessories for records that I've got recently. Finally, I got a carbon fiber brush. I'm so excited about this. These brushes are used to like clean out like the dust and the particles in your grooves of your record. You sort of just like play the record and then like hold it like that and it cleans them out. I'm slowly learning about how to look after my records and I'm really excited that I finally done this little purchase even though it's very cheap. I literally just didn't have one of these just because I didn't know they existed, that they were like a thing that I should own. And suddenly as soon as I knew from being in the vinyl community more recently that this is something that's worth owning, I went out and bought it. So yeah, I've been cleaning my records and it's so funny, like I clean them and I'm like, whoa, that just got 10 times more shiny. So this is cute, yes, yeah, it's cute. And then another thing I'm really excited about is sleeving my records. That's something that I've wanted to do for a really long time now actually, especially the inner sleeves because I worry that my records, especially the ones that I've gotten from my auntie, are just not looked after super well. A lot of them are in paper sleeves for like decades, so they're probably like long gone. Even if they're long gone, I'm still gonna try. And I also really wanna look after the records that I've more recently acquired. So I picked up, finally, some MoFi inner sleeves. I'm really excited about these. MoFi is one of the brands for record sleeves that a lot of people appreciate and recommend. So I ended up picking up some of these from MoFi. I've got a hundred of them because I have about 112 inches. I'm gonna go through every single one of my records and put one of these bad boys on them. I don't know how people do this when they have like thousands of records. I guess it's just a process they've done over decades. But I'm gonna do all a hundred like in a row at some point soon and it's gonna drive me insane because I have to clean them and then put them in like god damn I think what's so great about these is that they're anti-static people freaking love the fact that they're anti-static I was like okay anti-static here we come essentially there's like some rice paper behind for some rigidity purposes and then the actual material is like polyethylene I think apparently it's one of the best materials that you can have for your records so that's what I'm gonna go do it's a nice investment these are meant to last a lifetime so that's what we're doing here. Me and my records, we're gonna last hopefully a lifetime together. And then lastly, we have some records. We only have two here, but I am really excited. I went and bought some records from Basement Discs. They're a record store here in Melbourne, Australia that I really like. One thing I wanna mention is like, I talked to a lady at the front desk about like, how's business and stuff going? Is anyone coming in? And she's like, pretty much no one is coming in. And she said like, you know, even if it's online, it's not really that great because you don't ever have as many people people that are online that actually come into the store because people don't really want to buy online. One of the main sort of selling points of record shopping is like actually flipping through the records physically and like having that experience and people like to look at their records and like properly check them before they buy them. So it's just been, I guess, really hard for a lot of smaller record stores, especially here in Melbourne because we're going for a second lockdown now. So I'm just like, you know what? I moved to the city recently so I can sort of go shop around and walk around and try and go support these stores on my daily walk of exercise so I've been trying to do that trying to like go to record stores where I can that are still open and buy some records during this hard time so guys make sure you support your local record stores as much as possible right now because they're probably struggling a little bit especially if you're in an area where there's some type of restrictions happening okay let's open these up and see how I supported my local record store so firstly we had like such a dumb pick but I love it okay so <laughs> We've got all the best from Scotland. 25 famous Scottish tunes to warm your heart. My grandparents on both sides were originally from Scotland and specifically my mum's side was from Glasgow and there's a song on here called I Belong to Glasgow. They know every single word. My aunties and my mum, they know the song, especially when they're drunk, they seem to know the song and therefore I have a lot of memories, a lot of beautiful memories with some of these songs. So I had to buy it. So this is very special to me already. I love it so much. <laughs> and like $5 
it's literally a steal. I had to pick it up. Lastly, we have another King Gizzard record because that last record I got, which I'll link up in the top corner, my vinyl update that I uploaded a couple weeks ago, I had my first King Gizzard vinyl that I bought in that video and I showed the record off and it's just so beautiful and I'm just like so in love with flightless records. Like it's just, it's all happening over here in Australia right now in my bedroom. So I just needed to go buy some more King Gizzard. And I wasn't particularly looking for anything. I just wanted to like, you know, go scope out what this place had at the moment. And I just saw this and I just ended up picking it up because how can you resist. So this is Chunky Shrapnel by King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard. So for the most part this is a live album with a couple of studios thrown in here and there and as you can see on the back it's got the beautiful flightless emu. I love it. I love the emu dude. That's like an OB but for flightless records. I'm sure other labels also do that but i never seen it before and I like it a lot. And number two as well, same thing. I love that it's a double LP. Both of them just have like this absolute beautiful splatter going on. I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now. So there you go. That is my new King Gizzard record to add to the collection. I can't wait to one day have enough King Gizzard to be able to do a video on like my Giz collection. That's going to be the best thing ever when I do that. And that is everything that I've acquired recently in my DVD book and final collection. So thanks everybody for joining. I hope you've enjoyed looking at my book record and DVD updates with what I have gotten recently. Remember to like, comment and subscribe if you wish. I love talking to everybody in the comments and until next time, bye. <laughs>